Hello everyone and welcome to PC Tips Pro. Are you tired of answering the same questions over and over again on your website or social media? Then in this video, I'll show you how to build a clean interactive FAQ page using Google Sites that will save you time, help your visitors and boost your website's credibility. So stick around till the end and I'll also share tips to make your FAQ page more SEO friendly and engaging. So first of all, why FAQs matter? FAQs or frequently asked questions are more than just a support feature. They help your users get quick answers, reduce the number of repetitive emails and DMs, and most importantly, it helps build trust. It also provides clear information upfront and helps improve user experience and keeps your visitors engaged longer. And so the benefits of building an FAQ page is that it saves your time, it helps improve customer satisfaction, and it also shows perfectionism. So in order to build that, we will be using Google Sites. Now, Google Sites is a free beginner friendly tool to build your FAQ page. So all you need is a Google account and you're ready to go. So just visit sites.google.com and now you're in. So just go ahead and click on this blank site option. So you can start with a blank template or even go ahead and choose a pre-designed one. So for this tutorial, we'll start from scratch to keep things simple and customizable. So now let's walk step by step through creating your FAQ page in Google Sites. So once we are here, the first thing we're going to do is give our site a name. Right now, our site is untitled. So just go ahead and give your site a title. Make it customer support, help support or anything which you like. So now once we have our site name, now here you will see two main sections, the editing area and a panel on the right side with insert pages and themes. So now let's add a dedicated page for the FAQ section. So go to the pages option and just click on this plus option which says new page. So click on that and give your page a name and then click on done. And there you have your FAQ page. And now you have your home page with your FAQ page. So now you have a fresh clean page where we'll add the questions and the answers. Now the next step is to insert the accordion feature. So for that, just go to the insert tab. And from here, you can see this text box option. So just click on that. And now here, a collapsible content box will appear on your FAQ page. The accordion is perfect for FAQs because it keeps things neat and compact. Visitors can expand only the questions they care about. So now in the title box, just go ahead and type in your question. For example, how can I reset my password? You can go ahead and customize your text by changing the font size, making it bold, italic. It all depends on you. So now once you're done with the question, then just go to the content area and type the answer. So write a clear and helpful answer. For example, click on forgot password on the login page and enter your email and follow the link we send you. So make sure that your answers cover all the subject and it's extremely clear and helpful. Now you can go ahead and add in more customizations by adding images from here. So if you have an image of yours, then just go ahead and upload it. So just go ahead and add in images to make your site more aesthetic. Once you're done with your image, you can even add in URLs and embed code from here. So if you want to link a helpful guide or contact form, then just go ahead and highlight the text and then click on this insert link option. And from here, just go ahead and insert the link. 
to maybe one of your other pages or any other site which you want to include. Let's say if I include the link to my home page and click on apply, then now this word has been turned into a link. And if anyone clicks on that, then they will directly be guided to the home page. Now go ahead and add in more text box to create additional questions and answers. Keep your title short and searchable. Write them the way users would ask, like where is my order, how to cancel a subscription, or do you offer refunds? You can even go ahead and check in some other FAQ pages for better understanding and the type of questions that may be included. So now once you're done with that, if you scroll down from here, you have all of these options. So from here, you can go ahead and add in headers, divider lines, or even group questions by category. For example, account questions, payment issues, or general info. So use text boxes or section dividers to divide your pages into two sections and organize the FAQ page more visually. And to make it more aesthetic, go to the themes option. And from here, you can choose different themes and change in the color of your text from here. Now, writing FAQs isn't just about answering questions. It's more about how you answer them. So use simple and clear language, avoid jargon, keep your answers concise, think clarity over cleverness, and anticipate user confusion and address it directly. Use screenshots or short screen recordings if the answer involves steps as it makes it easier for visual learners. Now, before publishing your FAQ page, just double check your content. So just go ahead and proofread for clarity and grammar. Add relevant keywords to questions and answers for better Google visibility and make sure that your page is mobile friendly. Well, Google Sites does that automatically, so you do not need to worry about that much. So once you're done, just go ahead and hit on publish. Then just go ahead and add in your web address. And then just share the link on your home page, contact page, and even your social media profiles. And well, that's it. You've created a dynamic, organized, and professional. So if this video has helped you out, hit that like button Google and we'll please sites. do not forget to subscribe to PC Tips Pro for more useful tech tips. And if you have any queries regarding this video, do make sure to put them in the comments box below. Thank you and have a nice day.